why I have a word to bring. I'm very happy about this because I haven't scribed a word for a while. And I've had a breakthrough. I know it sounds like I'm considering it pure joy to be persecuted and attacked. And I even consider it pure joy when I see other prophets going through this. I'd mentioned Poppy and my spider infestation. Well, Kerry Ann Gibbon has had to expose Satan on the internet and she had visits in her dream as well but by God's grace she will overcome and learn and I just I see the body of Christ in the comments I see him rising up his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it just as I was commenting and sharing my experience with Poppy and the sovereign deliverance you can receive when you renew your mind when you wait on the Lord daily when you inquire of him for discernment just when I was doing that up popped a poppy YouTube video <laughs> just to confirm it and I haven't visited her site and I'm glad that people are presenting what she's up to but I just want to warn you that my bathroom dream about truth is being led out of the bathroom to watch the parade how religious spirits take them into herd them into a place a place that nobody wants to go where you, there is no going back so although I appreciate this YouTuber doing her research and she's posted a picture of Poppy Poppy bubble bath Poppy in the bathtub so now I can see that the Lord had given me the stream and now it has one part of it come to pass and I have a deeper revelation that I want to share with you so I was in the bathroom and the Lord has shown me that this is the hidden place this is the place where you can be washed and cleansed and stay clean refreshed daily you need to stay there but a young girl come into the bathroom and sat in my bathtub <coughs> That was Poppy. Ah, she came to visit me. And we know she came to visit me because I shared my testimony. So Poppy, nice try. But God has burst your bubble. If it were possible, even the elite would be elect would be deceived. It's just not possible. So please take this warning lukewarm truthers you're in a place that you are not you're not covered you're not covered you are not covered you are not covered because you are not hearing you're absorbed in the parade return to the bathroom <laughs> I don't know if they'll hear all I know is that God has purposed many of us to hear. And that's enough. This remnant elect, the sons and daughters, that's enough. That's enough to do all the damage need to be needed to be done in this end times battle and to bring the harvest in. So stay faithful, stay hidden. He does not know the mind of Christ. Right, this is my dream. <clears throat> I woke in my dream wrong page <laughs> oops daisy that's preparation for you 
I'm just excited about Poppy. And I don't feel sorry for her. Don't fall into the trap of feeling sorry for them. <clears throat> My daughter says that she is innocent. She's naive. That's a deception. That is a deception. The Lord woke me with a dream I couldn't remember. The name of this word is The first will be last and the last will be first. But in a nutshell, this dream that I couldn't remember, I knew what it meant because he started the Holy Spirit got me started thinking <coughs> on the story. The story of the tortoise and the hare. I was thinking on how he ran. The hare. And then I was reminded of Elijah and how he ran. How he lifted up his skirt and ran and reminded also of how David danced how he took off his clothes and danced as the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of him well he was ahead of <laughs> I'm not a Bible historian I'm just going to leave it at that all I know is that it is by his spirit so this song uh, this story the tortoise and the hare is not what you think remember the Lord had said to me listen I'm going to tell you a bedtime story To get more out of the race run by the rabbit. I said to get more out of the race run by the rabbit, Lord. Why would I get more out of the race run by the rabbit? We, our perception is that the tortoise won the race. He, he ran that race and won. Why would I get more out of the race that the rabbit run? Why would the Lord be focusing on the here and how he run, reminding me of Elijah and now as I'm reading this, David's dance. Ooh. And the Lord said the prophets will run. The young men will dream dreams and all that. They will be the first fruits, the first taken it's not the race, it's the speed, it's the destination and the timing. You set off, you're the least in the kingdom, I am under your wings. You will be first, the least in the kingdom, <clears throat> the ones who come last will be first you know who you are you felt the propulsion you are fired up like cannons and look all of a sudden to everyone else to becoming last all you have been all you have has been taken. All you stood for 
has suffered. Your pride has been triggered and you lay humbled. None of you have perfect walks. None of you are admired as those who are in the world or hold a rank in the church. You all just threw care to the wind. You wandered off and did your thing. To all who watch, you looked to win, but you lost. This is the here the Lord is talking about. Everything, you lost everything to carelessness. Your talents were taken for granted. Your confidence was strong in the beginning because you knew you had something special. The ability to win, to win easy, easy as. This is because I placed this in you. You knew your God from day one. You promised him everything. Others watched and envied your walk, your relationship, your inevitability to finish first. But now you're last. Is this a good thing? In the kingdom, yes. I'm just, I'm sweating. What is it? I'm going, I must be, I don't know whether it's a Holy Ghost does this or whether it's menopause. I can't work it out. You are like the wildfires that would not stop. But you did, right? You stopped. Ask yourself, you did. How could you have been so cocky, so complacent? Now everyone looks at you as backsliders, smart asses who got what they deserved. First at the start and last at the finish line, if you make it at all. You know the tortoise thinks you are off track not following the way and crazy to have given up been taken out all your cocky confidence and exuberance is seen as a phase you're going through something a act an inability to stick the course you're crazy you threw everything away And worse still, you don't even know it. You think you're following God. The Lord's here to say, you're still in the race. This is the tortoise's view of you only. But you are still in the race. I know I said, (coughs) finish the race. Look at the sweat. (laughs) I know I said finish the race, right? I know I said run the race, right? So who is running it? The tortoise or the hare? I'm going to repeat that. The Lord said, I know that I said finish the race. He did. I know I said run the race, right? So who is running it? The tortoise or the hare? This story is a trap of the enemy. Though I do not recommend any tortoise run it the way the hare run it. I say, I didn't say I would Will the participants to get there the way they will? 
Okay, so I have to reread that. It didn't come across well. The story is a trap of the enemy. Though I do not recommend any tortoise try and run it the way the hare run it. And I know why he says that. Because tortoises are not called. They're not covered. They can't go this they can't go the same places. They can't run the same race. The Lord says that they you can only run the race like the rabbit if he wills those participants to get there the way they have. That is the way he wills it. So the Lord is reminding us in this word because he says that he says I was not specific, right, about the race, about the parable of the race. I was not specific, right, about how to do it, how to run this race. He was only, he only specified about running. So who ran? So once again, he asks a question. Who was running, the tortoise or the hare? So who ran? Listen, who ran? The rabbit, not the tortoise. But it, it seems unfair, right? The tortoise is not built to run. And the rabbit does it naturally. Who run the perfect race? Listen, who run the perfect race? Who had so much time that they ran, stopped to linger, and regret their decisions? The rabbit. This is the race. The last will be first. Listen. The last will be first. I'm talking about the end, how you finish, not how you run or walk. But the ones that run, run it in my strength, not their own. They started first, but finished last. They did not carry their homes on their back. They did not come prepared. They threw off their clothes and shot through. Now that reminds me of David's dancing, which the Lord reminded me of in the beginning, which I hadn't thought of when he was giving me this word. These rabbits, they threw off their clothes and they shot through time they had to stop and look around learn about the places alongside and outside of the track <clears throat> they know now how to lose how to lose this race we call life this is the race they are telling in the story the burden the tortoise carries, the slow and steady wins the race. This is the theme of the story. The story of the race that we call life. But my race, the Lord says, the race I placed you in is in the world, but not of the world. So you don't need to stay on their track. Don't panic. You lose the race and win. <laughs> don't be condemned or discouraged. The progress you make is timed. Perfectly timed. 
and the things you see along the way are necessary to be first. The last will be first, the first fruits. I'm going to do this in two parts so that you can meditate on that. The first fruits.